Hey guys, it's Max. Um, I figured I'd kind of do a video to let you guys kind of know what I'm currently reading. And um, I'll start off with the only audiobook that I'm listening to currently. Sorry, my child's doing something weird. But I'm currently listening to The Book Thief, which is set during the time of like Hitler being uh, in charge and it's set in Germany. So I'll move on to the physical books. I'm currently reading three physical books. Um, let's see, we'll start off with the one that I'm closest to being done with. So the first physical book I'm or reading is uh, Unforgiven by Lauren Kate. I'm probably four-fifths of the way done, giving a rough estimate. I don't have my Goodreads open at the moment to be able to tell you the exact percentage, but it is the last book of the Fallen series. Um, the Fallen series is about these characters named Daniel and, uh, right now I'm forgetting her name, <laughs> but the main male character is Daniel and let's see. Daniel is a, uh, fallen angel and he uh, is trying to get during the series he's trying to you know get the girl to remember you know who she really is and every time she keeps when she turns 17 and kind of starts to remember things and remembers that she's in love with him and everything. She ends up like bursting into flames. So this series is, they're kind of like, she's 17. They meet at, or during this lifetime, they meet at a like boarding school, if you will, for like troubled teens, I guess what you'd call it. Um, so Daniel and all these other fallen angels are there and they slowly start to try and uh, remind her of who she is and all that, but they can't give her too much information. She has to find it out kind of for herself, but they can give her like little clues. Sorry, my kids wanted candy. But, um... There you go, Bubba. So, one of the other main... Hi. No, thank you. You eat it. You, you eat it. I don't want it. One of the other main characters' name is Cam. And he sides with... Uh, Lucifer. So, Unforgiven. You could f actually finish the series, like, leave the series off at uh, Fallen in Love. And just call it quits there. But, um, Unforgiven is from Cam's point of view. And Cam is like, trying to go back and get the girl named Lilith that he was in love with to basically like forgive him and beat this dill this uh bet he made with the devil so in other words don't make deals with the devil cause at this point it sounds like just based off where I am which is uh, page 286. It's not looking very good for Cam. So, 
the next book, before I get too long-winded, that I'm reading is The Underground Railroad, and it's a selection of authentic narratives by William Still, 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 however you want to pronounce his last name. Um, I'm about 94 pages in, and so it's just kind of like little letters and stuff from people that partook in the Underground Railroad. Some of it's letters, other parts it's somebody's telling about what happened to somebody that they knew that either tried to escape on the railroad or they were helping someone or they were, you know, like they would help somebody say, get from the plantation that they were on to say the river boat to get down the river to the next location to be able to go into like the free lands and whatnot. So it's not very, I'm gonna say, it's like a smooth read without being a smooth read. It's kind of hard to explain. And some of the accounts are longer than others. Some of them are only like a page and a half. Others are like 10 pages. It kind of depends on if they got caught trying to escape. They got taken back and beat or shot. Or if they managed to make it. So the last physical book I'm reading currently at the moment is um, The Complete Book of Ghost, a fascinating exploration of the spirit world from operations to haunted places by Paul Rowland. Um, and this one I'm actually annotating. So I might, I might do a book on like how I'm personally annotating this one. Because I've only annotated one other book and I actually had to annotate it for uh, my senior year of high school. I had to annotate it for an English class and I didn't like how we had to annotate that one because we had to physically write in the book. And I don't like writing in books if I don't have to. Like hi highlighting in a book? Eh. Depending on the book, I might be okay with it, but I, I've decided I kind of like these little highlighter tabs. But so far, let's see. Um, I am currently on page, let's see, 49. And it's pretty good. It's a uh, chock full of uh, information, as you can see. And it's got some, let's see, let's see if I can find one of the pictures. Like it's got some pictures in it, but not a whole lot. It just kind of depends on the chapter. But that's kind of where I am as far as books I'm currently reading. Um... As soon as I'm done with Unforgiven, that'll be another series that I'm completely 100% done with. And I'll probably go back to reading some of my, like, standalones. Well, correction. I have the sequel. I have a sequel or two that I might read before I go back to just doing standalones. But for the most part, after I'm done with Unforgiven, I'll probably go mostly back to doing some of my like short standalones for a little bit because I've got a few of those that I need to read so especially since I just got more books as you guys saw in my previous video but like comment subscribe share whatever you feel and I will see you guys next time bye